from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning, everybody. I'm James Tully. Shea Ryan has a look at your weather here to start the week. But first, here are your ABC Action News headlines. The investigation continues into the death of a 15-year-old boy who was shot in St. Pete. Police say it happened Saturday night when the team was visiting friends at a home near 43rd Street South and 12th Avenue. He died at the hospital. So far, no word on who the gun belonged to, but police urge gun owners to lock up firearms, especially around kids. A traffic alert if you use the Howard Franklin Bridge, the southbound lanes are going to be closed overnight tonight for road work. Crews are installing overhead signs as part of the Gateway Expressway project. The work will be done, weather permitting. The bridge expected to close at 11 tonight and reopen at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. FDOT says there will be detours in place. To that last minute push to get Florida voters to the polls, yesterday was the annual Souls to the Polls event in Gainesville, part of a national faith-based movement to register and inform potential voters in primarily African-American communities. Meanwhile, early voting underway in Polk County. This is video of voters heading to the polls in Lakeland yesterday, the Florida primary just over a week away on Tuesday, August 23rd. Last week, Hillsborough County started their early voting, and if you'd like to see the complete list of early voting sites across the bay, Check out this article on abcactionnews.com. The Bucks continue to be tight-lipped about the injury status of center Ryan Jensen. He was carted off the field with a knee injury during the first week of camp. We did see him on the sidelines with a leg brace during Saturday night's preseason game against the Dolphins. The Bucks lost that game. Coach Bowles said that they should know the full extent of Jensen's injury sometime this week. The swelling hasn't gone down, and they're not exactly sure on the timing. He may or may not come back, if at all. And they said within the next week, we should know something by this week. And so because we don't have an answer, I haven't given a comment. The Bucs are going to be in Nashville this week for joint practices with the Titans on Wednesday and Thursday and play their second preseason game on Saturday at Tennessee. Turning things over now to Shea Ryan watching your Monday forecast. Yeah, and uh, we do start the day and end the day with chances for rain. We've got a west to east flow, keeping the chances for rain highest along the coast to the I-75 corridor in the first half of the day. And then those showers and storms trying to move inland through the afternoon and into the early evening. We'll still have a chance for an isolated shower along the coast overnight because of the west to east flow, but it's certainly not going to be a washout in uh, giving us high chances and high coverage of rain at any point over the next 24 hours. We're still looking at about 30% coverage at the peak. We'll still have enough uh, breaks in the clouds and sunshine coming through to bring us to highs in the upper 80s to about 90 degrees.